Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Asad and today we are going to be going over DJI Osmo Mobile 6. I'm going to share with you my experience using this device on Samsung S22 Ultra and also on iPhone 14 Pro. And in the end, I will also go over like some of my thoughts, what I think about this device if you are a Samsung user. So let's dive in. So all of the footage that you've seen was mostly shot on iPhone 14 Pro and some shots were there from Galaxy S22 Ultra. When I started making this video, I shot everything on the Samsung S22 Ultra, but then I realized the limitations and I had to reshoot some of the scenes because I like to shoot mostly on 4K 60 frames per second. When you're using the DJI MIMO app with the Samsung S22 Ultra, it does not give you 4K 60 frames per second. So that was my biggest thing. That's why I had to reshoot a lot of scenes using the 4K uh, cinematic mode on iPhone 14 Pro. Now we all know that phones these days are pretty good with internal stabilization, but this gimbal gives you an added advantage and also allows you to shoot in a variety of ways as well, which you cannot otherwise do handheld. This also allows you to maintain your horizon no matter how you shoot your footage, which is hard to achieve just with the phone stabilization. Now let me show you how easy it is to set up this gimbal. There's a lock here, so you basically unlock it like this by rotating it, and then you can just put it up like this, and it's on. It's by default on now, and this is the clip, and you can put your phone here on this clip, and then this clamps here, and you're good to go. So let me take this off, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to close this down as well pretty much like this and you're good to go now check this out as I said you can take some you know uh, dynamic shots with this thing it has a built-in selfie stick as well all you have to do is you know extend this and you can use it uh, you know with for down angles or you can use it like when a vlogging style as well if you are into vlogging as well if that's your thing you can use this thing and get stabilized footage as well now let me quickly go over the button layout on this thing as well. On the front uh, upper right corner you have this M button here. Uh, by default it's in follow all mode which means it's going to give you stabilized footage on all the axes and it's going to you know uh, go with your hand movement and give you stabilization on all the axes. So if you click this mode button once you will go into tilt lock mode. This means any tilting movement that you're now going to perform is going to be locked. So it's going to give you stabilization on all the axes while the tilt is gonna be locked. Next mode, uh, if you press this thing again, is also like follow all mode, but it also rotates. And the last one, my favorite is the spin shot mode. So if you click this, it's gonna take you to the last mode, which is the spin shot mode. So once you are in this mode, you can move the joystick left or right and it'll create that spinning type of motion. It's super easy to cycle through these modes by just pressing the M button. Also on the front, you have this record button here too, and it can be used to record photos and you know uh, record videos as well using the DJI MIMO app. Under the record button, you have this button which has like arrows. If you press this once, it's gonna flip the gimbal towards you. And if you uh, press it twice, it's gonna change the orientation from horizontal to vertical. Pressing it three times will take you to photo mode. This joystick here is uh, customizable. Like you can adjust the sensitivity of this thing uh, by going into DJI MIMO app. Now on this side of this gimbal, you have this thing like a wheel. It's actually a focusing slider. You can basically rotate this to focus or zoom in or out as well. And if you press it down, it's gonna take you into manual focusing mode, which can be very helpful for rack focusing and those kind of shots. So beyond all the modes, you also have this thing called Shot Guide in the MIMO app, which is really cool. And it'll give you access to a variety of guided shots to make your footage even more epic just using your phone. All in all, I'm always a big fan of how DJI keeps on making these things cooler and simpler every single time. Now, the biggest thing that I don't like about this is the compatibility with Samsung Galaxy phones as well, right? So if you're using a Galaxy S22 Ultra or any Galaxy phone, right? Um, you are not gonna get access to full 
you know frame rates as uh, compared to the iphone so uh, I used my daughter's iPhone Pro on this thing and I was able to go into cinematic mode and I was able to play with settings. I was able to use 4K, 24, 30, and 60. But with Samsung, you cannot uh, use different options for the frame rates. Also, when you're using the shot guide uh, on the Samsung, I don't know why it was taking me or like only allowing me to shoot at 1080p. I hope DJI is gonna address this in upcoming updates and make it compatible for Samsung users as well because all in all, this is a great tool. Like, you know, again, if you're a run and gun, uh, you know, videographer, if you want to create content on the go for your YouTube or like, you know, for Instagram, this thing is really, really useful. And phones these days are really good as well in terms of camera quality. So again, using these kind of tools, it can really help your productivity and you can create a lot of content on the go. Now, let me know what you think about this. If you are a Samsung user or think that I mentioned, are you facing the same kind of problems? Is there a workaround for Samsung users? You can still use this gimbal without using the DJI Make Mimo app. But you know, again, uh, then uh, I think you're you're missing out on some of the features that the shot guide gives you because I think that's really cool. So let me know what you guys think uh, about this video and give me your feedback uh, in the comment section down below. And as I mentioned, if you're a Samsung user, let me know if you figured it out how to use 4K60 within DJI Mimo app using this gimbal. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Goodbye.